Hi, my name is Tracy Weiss. I'm founder of Revelation 19 Ministries. I'm so excited that you joined us. We're doing a series right now uh, from the cross to Pentecost. You know, this is an incredible time right now what we're dealing with, with this pandemic out there. But there's such a pandemic of fear for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm going to pray. Father, I just thank you right now for everyone that's watching. I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you come right through the screen right now and you touch the hearts. Open up the hearts and touch the hearts of those that are weary, fearful, need your strength, your love, your peace, your supernatural presence. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you just do a miracle right now that they can go out to rev19.org and tell us all about it. I just speak life over you and blessing no matter what it likes, looks like in this world. And I ask the Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the presence of his Holy Spirit to touch your life today that fear would leave, insecurity, worry, you'd have a miracle. I pray the blessing and the favor of Jesus Christ to be on you and all around you. I decree the goodness and the kindness of the Lord Jesus Christ to be upon you and your household right now. In Jesus' name, he is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He is almighty God, he's a full feast. He's the fountain of living water flood flooding your very heart coming out of your very being. It's the kindness and the goodness and the power and the presence of God. He is your shepherd. He will teach you everything that you need to know. He is your father, your everlasting father, your prince of peace. He is the oil of joy. He is just so wanting you to know him. I just pray right now, that right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you'd fall on your face wherever you are right now and give your heart and life to Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can save your soul. See, you might hear about religions, you might hear about different things or being a good person, but Jesus Christ wants to save your soul. Not only does he want to save your soul, he wants to come and live inside of your heart. He wants to be the Lord and the Savior of your life, but he wants to change you from the inside out. He wants you to be so focused on spiritual things that you can make a difference here on this earth for yourself and others around you. God says that he's given us every spiritual blessing and he wants to fill you with the pleasures and the treasures of the kingdom of God. So I just pray right now for the power of God to touch you, touch your children, and I command right now in the name of Jesus, in the authority of the name he's given every believer, that weariness, disappointment, and frustration would go. Because right now, just think about him. He paid that price on the cross. He shed his blood, died a horrific death, rose from the dead, walked on this earth, brought the kingdom of God from heaven to earth, King Jesus. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and Pentecost Sunday's coming. He's gonna pour out his spirit on all flesh. He did it over 2000 years ago and everybody that's hungry and thirsty for a change in your life, this spiritual life that we have in Christ is beyond the time I even have in this video to tell you how he changes us from the inside out, how he forgives us, how he takes away abuse, uh, resentment, regret, shame and guilt and all these things that the enemy, Satan, the father of lies speaks to our mind. The Bible says we have to take every thought captive to obedience to Christ Jesus. That's what he tells us, take every thought captive. Our minds can run wild if we don't take a hold of what we're gonna think, at, think about. Every single thing that we think about, we empower. If you wanna empower things, bad things, and think on those things, 
that's exactly what will be empowered in your very being. Your soul is your will, mind, and emotions. You want the emotions that's going on right now in your life to just be pushed away. Just leave those crazy emotions and you want to have the fruit of the Spirit, God's peace and joy over your life. I just pray that somebody out there today you know, uh, hits reset on that prayer and believe that God wants to touch your body, touch your heart, save your soul. And if you're a believer out there, go deeper with God. This is a time to go deeper with Him. It says in 1 Corinthians 1 that Christ has been made the wisdom and the power of God. There is something that's so incredibly beautiful in the supernatural presence and power of God that He fully manifests Himself. I want you to hear this about Jesus. After He did all that, ascended to heaven, poured out His Spirit on the day of Pentecost, He's, this is what it says in Colossians 1, 19 to 23. For it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell. In Jesus, all the fullness of the Godhead would dwell in him. And by him to reconcile all things to himself. It says, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of the cross. We have peace with God. The wrath of God has been satisfied in Jesus Christ when he shed his blood. When sin entered this world and came through Adam and Eve, God had a solution. His name's Jesus Christ. He came to break the power of sin. John 1 29 says, it's the Lamb of God that came to take away the sin of this world. Lying, hate, that's all of the enemy. All of it. Our names are written in the Lamb's book of life if we're a believer. But God, Jesus Christ shed his blood so we could be transformed by his glory. From glory to glory, faith to faith, from grace to grace. The word of God has substance. The Holy Spirit in this book right here, when you read the word of God, the Holy Spirit breathes on these pages. And these words supernaturally start becoming part of your being. The Bible says in Galatians 4.19, um, it says that we will be conformed. Paul was crying out and said that he couldn't wait for us to be conformed, be conformed in his image, be formed in Christ. Christ, we are gonna, we are gonna look like him when we see him face to face someday. He has a glorious body, we have, we're gonna have a glorious body. You might be out there, uh, you know, just having some bad times. Maybe you don't have your, lost your job or, you know, there's been sickness and disease or there's something crazy going on in your household. God is real. I want people to turn to God and away from whatever is going on. Turn to Him. He is real. When I was diagnosed with leukemia in 2003, I just want to say I cried out to God and said, Are you really real? And my room filled up with light and glory and the presence and I just got a death report the day before of dying of leukemia. I called out with all my heart, if you're really real, come in this room. You can say the same prayer if you really want to meet him. His presence was real, but the word of God has been non-stop encounters for 17 years. Having the word of God strengthen me, bring me into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, knowing him, the riches of who he is, and sharing him with others. You know, not only did God come and and set me free from the powers of darkness, sin, and, and the lies that are in this world. I want to tell you the lies that are there. Satan is, is running rampant around lying to people. But I want to tell you right now that Revelation 12, 11, it says, We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and we don't even love our own life even on to death. 
It's that we know that no matter what happens to us right now on this earth, I want you to know it's going to be billions of years forever with Jesus Christ in a new heaven and a new earth. There's going to be a thousand years of millennium. Jesus Christ is going to come back on a white horse with a sword coming out of his mouth, the sword of the Spirit. It's the Word of God with the Holy Spirit written. The Word of God written, but the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the living Christ breathing on these words. When he comes inside of us, these words become alive into our hearts. I just, um, I want to continue with these verses here, just a couple more minutes. And you were once alienated, alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked work, works, yet now he has reconciled you and me in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard which was preached to every creature under heaven of which I Paul became a minister Paul releases the unsearchable riches of Christ he was willing to go through anything to share the gospel he wrote two-thirds of this uh, this the New Testament Paul was a lover of God. Paul said, this is not what I'm focusing on. Like Colossians 3, 1 says, focus on things above, not on earthly things. Set your heart and your mind on things above. Because the Lord knows that this is written in the word. Every single thing, the evil that's going on out there. But we've been translated into a different kingdom. And he wants to fill you, fill you to overflowing. In, uh, Ephesians 5 1 says listen to this this is really great news therefore be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ has loved us and given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma Jesus paid the price he paid it all this is a message from cross, from the cross to Pentecost. I want you to know that there is so many incredible things in Christ that, that the Lord right now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Lord is, there is freedom. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Lord is, there is freedom. God wants to set you free from the lies of the enemy, every wrong decision, from things from your past, he wants to set you free and set you on a path with Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is your teacher, your counselor, your comforter. He is the one that tells you about what Jesus did when he walked on the earth and made him come alive inside. But he's also in us to tell us things to come. He is our great teacher. He is the one that is revealing all the things that we need to know. We are getting ready for end times. We are in the, the birthing pains of what Jesus Christ is talking about in his Bible. You don't want to miss these up and coming vid videos, even as I do some in, in the near future on end times. And what, how are we supposed to watch and wait and pray? How are we supposed to share him with those around us? We depend on the power of the Holy Spirit. When you get born again and he comes to live inside of you, you now have all the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead living inside of you. He will change the way you think. He will bring you into such ecstasy of such great love. His love manifests. His power manifests. You got to yield to the Holy Spirit. Get hungry for the Word of God. Give Him your heart and life. Be still and know He's God. We love you here at Revelation 19 Ministries. Go out to rev19.org. Uh, we love you. Thank you for supporting us. Be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.